Hello, Stuart here at Motion RC Europe, here to give you a little presentation on a brand new pack from us. This is the Admiral Pro 6000 mAh 50C. Now, um, you'll be familiar with the very, very popular 5000 uh, 5, mAh 6S pack. Now, this is a great pack, but you just get that much more cap uh, capacity, and that results in flying times with this pack, which is something, especially on an EDF, such as my trusty Venom, is something you will definitely be looking for. So what we're gonna do, just for a turn, of a little experiment I've got uh, the 5000 in this model already and then I'm gonna fly the 6000 and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set a timer on my transmitter as you can see here I've got the regular flight timer and then I've got a countdown my plan is just to give you a good visual representation of how much longer flight times you've get on this I'm gonna fly each pack to LVC now of course we wouldn't usually advocate flying a model to LVC but for the sake of this experiment it serves a good purpose um, so we're going to do that in just a minute. Start with the, the 5000, then go on to the 6000. Before we do that, let's just talk a little bit about the packs themselves. 5000, 6000. Now the gain in this uh, is flight time, but there is a, a penalty for that if you like, and that is weight. This is 100 grams more than the 5000. However, that's actually uh, greatly to my benefit, especially with the Venom. Now the Venom, I think you may have seen it before, and I think Tom, I'm just going to flip over, see if you can get it there. If not, we'll get a cutaway. We'll, yep. we'll get a cutaway of that. But what I've actually done on the nose, I've added around 70 grams of weight to the nose to fly it with this 5,000 pack. However, with the 6,000, it weighs approximately 100 grams more, so I can remove that weight completely, which is great. That means there's no dead weight. As much as possible, you want to refly, uh, you want to remove dead weight from the equation with any model, especially an electric one and especially an EDF. So we, in theory, will have uh, no greater wing loading on this, but we will get additional flight times. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Flight on this pack first, keep the weight in, uh, flight to LVC, see what the timer is, and then take the weight out, put the 6000 in, and repeat the process, and you should see that you get that much longer flight times on the 6000. Tom, let's give it a go. Okay, so here we go with the uh, the flight on the standard pack. I always fly the 5000 milliamp hour. Now, uh, I'm usually an advocate for mixed throttle use and energy management, especially on EDFs. However, for the for the sake of this experiment, I'm going to pretty much fly flat out for the entire flight. Um, and what we're going to do, we're actually going to speed up through the flight, uh, to speed up the footage, so you uh, you don't have to sit and watch through that. Because what we really want to do is get to the information at the end when I hit LVC and see what uh, we have on the the timer. Um, so that's about it, Tom. We're going to take off now. Good. And let's do this. We're going to keep it all in one shot, so you you can see what it's all about here and prove that we're not cheating. I've got to remember, of course, to flick my Secondary timer switch. All right, ready to take off? Ready. Okay, here we go. Now, full throttle and pretty much no power. Bit of a bounce. All right. Now, Tom, can you see that? Yep. Three minutes 13 on the 5,000. Let's do the exact same thing with the 6,000. We should see a little bit more. Okay, so we were at three minutes 13 on LVC with the 5,000 pack now. Just so you guys can see, that leaves me with 3% left in the pack. So what we're gonna do at the end of this flight is compare it on the uh, orange uh, 6,000 pack. Now what I've done, oh, can you see me there? Yep, what I've done, I've taken that weight out of the nose that's the weight I had approximately about 60 to 70 grams now with the 6,000 pack you can see it is still very much a snug fit but I've had to move it back by a fingers uh, width if you like which is fortunate because that's as far as I can take it back however at that position it is bang on the CG so now I'm flying uh, with approximately the same uh, all-up weight and wing loading but with uh, the CG exactly where it needs to be perfect so let's get this on the field and we will fly until LVC and see what the timer says all right we're gonna keep this rolling on the field Tom how are you looking good good all right you ready for takeoff okay Tom yep I'm okay. ready okay timer is rolling and here we go
All right. Okay. All right. That is LVC. I'm at full throttle now and I've got no power. You can hear the timer going on my clock, which means I've gone way over my uh, four minutes. So I've got to idle and reserve as much energy as I can. Gear's coming down. I am floating in and the timer is going to go off as soon as I touch down. Okay, flaps coming on. No power now because I haven't got any flaring. All right, and the that is off. Look at that. You see that clearly? Mm, yeah. There yep. we go. I will tell you what it is if you didn't. That is 4.31. So that is over a minute uh, extra flight time on the 6,000 milliamp hour. Tom, just walk with me a second. On the field. Now, um, of course, what I said here, I do not advocate uh, flying to LVC on purpose, just for the sake of this experiment, it worked. What I'm gonna do now is just bring this back to the bench uh, and we will get the cell check. So, uh, bear with me a second. Uh, Tom, maybe we cut now and we'll see you back over at the bench in just a second. On the field. All right, so, here we go. Just gonna do the final little sign off here and show you guys the cell checker on this one. As I said, it is definitely a tighter squeeze uh, than the 5000, but it still fits and the CG is good. Take that battery out. Now, it's warm, but Tom, that's in it. Yeah, it's perfectly acceptable, yeah. right? Not even barely warm. Put that on, see what I got left. I had two or three percent before. Yeah, I'm at one percent now, well that was zero. So, I really have taken it down. Again, not the healthiest thing to do for the packs, but if we take a few seconds off of that, that's still approximately a minute extra flying time over the well-established 5,000, and this airframe will take it. So not only is it good for EDFs, but imagine the potentials with those Warbirds and prop models too. Very, very good. So thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope this simplistic test was enough to convince you of the merits of the 6,000. Yes, it's uh, approximately 100 grams more, but uh, you can turn that dead weight into useful weight and it's well worth the extra money to get the 6,000. An extra minute flying time on an EDF, that's very, very good. Again, I will say finally, I advocate mixed throttle use and energy management, and if you were to do that, I can imagine you could happily get, um, I mean, what are we getting on this one when I uh, throttle manage Seven minutes. Uh, yeah, I think the most I've got on this is seven minutes with lots of mixed throttle use. So you're pushing a good eight or nine minutes with mixed throttle use. That's fantastic in an EDF. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you found this useful. Uh, link to this product below the video, and I'll see you next time.